Hi, my name is John Dimitri. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Index Fresh. Here with me today is Bailey Dioya from Index's Field Department, and soon we'll introduce you to Vivian Vas Mediano, personal chef and lifestyle coach, to discuss less than perfect fruit. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about why fruit is deemed imperfect, and later in our segment, Chef Vivian is going to take us through an easy-to-do recipe at home incorporating this fruit, one she assures us will wow even the savviest of avocado enthusiasts. So thanks for spending a little time with us today, and let's see what Bailey's got for us. Thanks, John. There's a lot of good reasons why an avocado could be deemed imperfect. Most notably, the scarring of the skin. Here's an example of an avocado that has sun damage, and it'll taste just as good on the inside as this number one. Make no mistake, John, the inside of any perfect avocado is the same as you would find in your grocery shelf. Wow, thanks, Bailey. That was really informative. Hey, let's go see what Vivian's got cooking. Hi, my name is Vivian, and I'm ready to show you how to make a delicious recipe using less than perfect avocados. At home, I make salads with different kinds of mixed vegetables and herbs for different kinds of texture. Here I have broccoli, cauliflower, tomato, peppers, and mangoes, cilantro, mint, and parsley, and cucumbers that I spiralized. It's as easy as one, two, three. I'm gonna slice the avocado open, mix it with some lime juice and ginger that I have mixed together, and then assemble the salad. Let's get to cutting this avocado. I don't know about you, but I feel like I can eat an avocado a day. They're so delicious. Check this out, so creamy and perfect. Super moisture. Oh. Check that out. Zero blemishes, no brown spots. This imperfect avocado is actually perfect. Up right now, I'm going to be using the avocado for the salad dressing, as I had already mentioned. I already have some avocado that I cut up and smashed in here, but I'm going to add some more. Here I have several limes that I've squeezed and some freshly grated ginger along with some salt. I'm just gonna pour this into my avocados that I just smashed to make my salad dressing. I'm just gonna pour this lime ginger juice over the avocados and then I'm just gonna mix everything up. And then I'm gonna assemble my salad and just pour this on top. I always start my salad with some type of greens. Right now I have some mixed greens. Then I'm gonna add my cauliflower and broccoli, my tomatoes, mango, and pepper, all my amazing herbs, cilantro, mint, and parsley, a ton because they really, really add so much flavor to salads. You guys have no idea, especially if you really want a flavorful salad, add some fresh herbs. Cucumber noodles because everyone has a zoodle maker these days and cucumber noodles are just fun and they add a new texture instead of just chopping up your cucumbers. So top that off. And pickled onions for the last thing here are super easy to make. Just some red wine vinegar, salt and some sugar. Let them sit for a couple days. After you got all that and toss everything together and you have yourself one of the best salads you will ever have I promise and that is how you use less than perfect avocados